Thanks for coming and joining me in the video. Have you ever heard of controller lane presets? Or even used them before? If not, stick around and I'll show you what they do. So here in the main project window of Cubase, I've got a bunch of events with MIDI data on. Now, if I'm editing some MIDI, I'll open up the event, and by default, you'll just see the velocity lane. Now, if you're working with orchestral libraries, you'll probably want to see more than just your velocity lane. So you can come down to the bottom here where it says create controller lane, click the plus symbol, and you can select things like CC1 for your modulation or CC11 for your expression. Now, you can change these around just by, you know, selecting the drop down menu here. I want this bottom one to be velocity, this next one to be expression, and I like to have modulation at the top. Now, if we're working on a different MIDI part, you'll notice that it won't display the same lanes as we did in the previous one. And that's because they're kind of all independent. So you would need to add in your lanes again, such as your modulation and expression. And it can be really annoying having to do this each time. So what we do is save our setup as a preset. So to do this, you go down to controller lane setup at the bottom and go to add preset and we'll call this orchestral light so so this means now if we open up a completely different midi event and i want to i don't know bring up the orchestral setup i can go down to controller lane setup and then choose this from the drop down menu and it will automatically show me those lanes so it saves you doing a bit of mucking around adding and removing things now also you can organize these presets by going to organize presets um, you can rename them, you can delete them, you can pretty much do that. <laughs> There's not much more else you can do with them. You can't really rearrange them in this window, unfortunately. While editing the video, I noticed I totally missed out quite a useful bit of information. You can actually save these presets to key command strokes. To set this up, you need to go to edit, then key commands, and then scroll down to the MIDI folder and from here you will see these things called controller lane setup. So every time we create a preset in the key editor it'll be organized in numerical order so the first preset you make will be one, the following one will be two, x, y, z. So keep that in mind before you assign keys to these commands so you can switch between them. Um, so hopefully this is of some use and will help save you a little bit of time when working in the key editor with your controller lanes. And if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, just give it a thumbs down. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.